to another edition of, I'm, I'm touching his keys, and that's probably like a cardinal rule against that. I washed it today. Okay. Oh, so but it's okay yeah. that I touched them. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, welcome to another edition of Tulsa Little Jam, everybody. And we've got here tonight Jeremiah Kirby. Uh, he's an amazing, amazing sound that's about to blow your mind. We're very excited to have him. And let's uh, give him a warm round of applause. Jeremiah Kirby, everybody. Thank you. It's August and it's angry And the winds have changed again you find me here on Cherry Street But I'm furthest I've ever been See my castle here, it was fractured and it didn't hold for long And in this story, well, I am captured And they make me sing this song That I will not run, run, run I will not run, run, run away. There was no one here to welcome me. Filthy little room Full of broken glass and envy But it's dark so I assume And every day I work my fingers To the bones that I have left And the blood that trips, well, it's bitter And the song still brings regrets That I will not run Run, run away yeah. I will not run Run Thanks so much. This episode of Tulsa Little Jam is brought to you by... Once again, Jeremiah Kirby, everybody. <laughs> Jeremiah Kirby. I gotta tell you, that voice is probably what 
surprise. Well, it surprised me because I actually didn't have a picture of you to go with the voice. When I heard the voice, it reminded me of uh, we had Dane Arnold and the Soup on several episodes ago, and it's like this little. Well, you're not little like Dane is. Not anymore. But but uh, hearing this, just seeing this white guy and this incredibly soulful voice that came out of it was just like astounding to me, and that blew that blew me away. So I mean. I'm a big fan of the voice alone. The piano, eh, whatever. But the voice, <laughs> my gosh. Yeah. Anyway, but uh, uh, t- tell us about the, uh, the, 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 the first song you just played for us, Run, um, a- Run Away. Uh, Cherry Street is the, is the name of that Sorry, song. Sorry, it's the new, the new okay. name. Actually, I, I, the name changed Okay. Uh, last moment before I pressed up the, the record. So, uh, But yeah, it's, it's called Cherry Street, and... Um, you know, I wrote that about a year and a half ago, and I wrote it, um, I had just moved into this tiny efficiency uh, built in 1919, uh, and it was just, just this room, and it was a, a fresh start for me. I, uh, I had just before that uh, had uh, two heart attacks. Um, so for real? For real, okay. yeah, uh-huh. and, uh, and so that was kind of my recovery thing. Uh, I had gone through a, a breakup at sort of the same time, uh, and, and so I, I moved into this place, and, and that's what that song is about, is just kind of finding myself again and um, kind of making a deal with myself that, that I wouldn't run away from you know, th- this challenge and, and to, to recover and to... Um, get back into music. I, I've been an a audio video engineer for over a decade, uh, and I kind of sink a lot of my time into that instead of my music and my songwriting. Uh, and, you know, I had family and, and all that, so it just there was not a lot of time to, to write and to play music, and the time that I did have, I wasn't very inspired. Uh, but uh, I had an overflow of inspiration uh, in making this move into this tiny little efficiency apartment. Um, and songs just started spawning, and that was uh, one of the first ones uh, to, to come. I realized, by the way, as it came out of my mouth, what, how stupid that question was when I was like, for real? No, I'm lying. I didn't have two <laughs> heart attacks back to back. <laughs> So I apologize for that, but that was—I no, no. wasn't expecting that. Yeah, no, I wasn't either. So that's fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. fair. Yeah. Inspiration yeah. comes from the most painful places sometimes. Yeah. Tell us about the song that you're about to play. The next song is "Love," and it's my favorite song on the record, uh, out of everything on there, and it, it means the most out of all the tunes. Well, great. I'm looking forward to hearing that. Yeah. This episode of Tulsa Little Jam is brought to you by. Every time you look my way, it's like a roller coaster. I never know what to say when it's over and all the rights and wrongs they leave me sober and all the tears roll on, but I'm never closer. But I'm always older Oh, and it's always colder Oh, but there's nothing bolder than love When you're standing in it Your world stops spinning You know that all you ever needed was love When your heart is in it you just can't win it You know that all you ever needed was love Love And every time you drive away I feel your tail lights burning me From your third degree of escape 
down that broken hallway. So take his dime and run. I turn the pillow over. And take your time, be stunned. But don't come any closer. Cause I ain't getting younger. Oh, but I'm so much colder. Oh, but there's nothing bolder than love When you're standing in it And your world stops spinning You know that all you ever needed was love When your heart is in it Oh, but you just can't win it You know that all Ever needed was love It's taken me all over this world And it's opened up my eyes To the very truth Yeah, yeah, yeah Oh, in love It's taken everything I've ever owned But it keeps me coming back For one more dose your love Cause I'm not standing in it My world is spinning out of control oh, But I know all I need is your love Because my heart's still in it oh, oh, But I just can't pin it down But I know that all all I yeah, all really needed was love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks so much. This episode of Tulsa Little Jam is brought to you by. So let's talk about about love. Yeah, not broadly. Let's talk about love uh, song. Uh, well, it is. Does this it, feel like I'm like really close to you right now? Yeah, hey, good. I feel awkwardly it's, it's close. It's the little to you. jam, so, so it's, it's true. Limited I'm just space. Give you a and... little bit more space there. <laughs> okay, continue. Uh, so, so love is literally about love, and it's not about like. It's about the good and the bad of, of love, and just that it sort of exists whether we want it to or not. You know, like, sometimes you can't help who you love or you can't anticipate who you may fall in love with, or, or and, and, and this can be universal to, to anything in your life, not necessarily just a significant other or, or what, but um, I've written so many love songs, I've read a lot of sad songs, and, uh, I just felt compelled one day to sort of be truthful about love and how great it is and also how terrible it can seem sometimes or at least when the love disappears, how you know, heart-wrenching that, that can be. And uh, in, in the song, I... I I talk about you know how love has taken me everywhere and and um, it's also ripped everything away from me and despite how bad any of those situations could ever be, I always submit to love. You know how you could you have a bad breakup or something like that and you say, well, I'm you know I'm never I'm never gonna love again. I'm ne you know I'm I'm done with it and and even if you say that you know at least for me. It doesn't matter. I keep putting myself back in that situation, and, and sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. Currently, it's great, so. <laughs> Currently, it's great. Currently, it's great. Yeah, I mean, good or bad, love in all its forms makes life bearable, even when it's unbearable. Mm -hmm. I'm so deep. You are, man. <laughs> I can see the whole. You see it? <laughs> see the heart <laughs> You're like, I don't even know if that made sense. <laughs> Um, so, so tell us what's the what's the last song that we're going and you're, you're bringing in a band 
That's right. For this last song. I am. I'm, right. I'm bringing in uh, great friends of mine, uh, and we're going to be playing Let Go, which is uh, was the first real piece of work for uh, the Me and Mine album. And I, I wrote it a, a couple of years ago and was uh, going through a, a, a whole lot. And, you know, I was, I was sort of at the end of my rope in, in some in some manner of speaking, um, but I was also still uh, optimistic you know, about life in general. And um, I had lost my, my father just before that, and uh, one of the things that, that I had to really work on, and not just with that, but just in life, I mean, sometimes you just have to learn to let go and, and just kind of, accept what's going on and uh and so that's what that song is about uh you know i mean it has lots of little meanings to me uh and there are lots of specific things in the lyrics that that are uh sort of they beat around the bush and, and a lot of metaphors and stuff like that but uh it they mean a lot to me and and uh it's just about letting go and just stopping and just relaxing and just not worrying about stuff and just Stop, you know, and so that's where that came from. All right, let's listen to uh, Let Go. Let Go. Let's listen to Let Go. Yeah. This episode of Tulsa Little Jam is brought to you by... I have uh, some fellas with me, good friends uh, and great players. Uh, we've got Brian May right here, uh, who's going to the bass guitar. Uh, and we've got Matt Richardson on, on guitar. Uh, and Mike the Onion Man Hansen on the drums, on the smallest version of a drum kit that he's ever played on. <laughs> come on, rain, come on, darkness. Come on, pain, strip the varnish. Come on, real, come on, heaven. Come on, all the fall partners. Come on, future, come on, reason. Come on, answers, come on, treason. Come on, anger, come on, something. Come on, stranger, it's the season. Let go, let go. Let go, let go. Take the absence, give me closure. Take me dancing through the clovers. Take the moments I don't need them. We'll hold my hand until it's over. Take the signals, they're all mixed. We'll take the progress in betwixt. We'll save your tears, cause I'm all out now We'll take the game, the cards are fixed Let go, let go Oh, oh, oh. 
Thank you, guys. This episode of Tulsa Little Jam is brought to you by... Does anybody have any questions for Jeremiah Kirby? Jeremiah Kirby. Yes. Jeremiah, it's been a pleasure hearing this. Um, please let me know, like, me and mine, what does that mean as far as your new album? What's the uh, behind the scenes? Me and mine, you know, what does it mean to you? Um, you know, I, I, I wanted to put together a, a group of songs that sort of that just en encompassed me, you know, that I, that I could really feel like this represents me. I've done many, many projects over the years uh, in various styles of music from hip hop to country to rock. And uh, I, I love songwriter songs. I love the stories and, and uh, I, I liked learning how to tell a story. And, and I've done a lot of stuff with full bands and, and this particular project, I really wanted to kind of cut a lot of that out and just sit down at the piano and and play my songs and and I didn't want to give anybody any uh, you know false anticipation on you know uh, like whenever I go and I, I play shows uh, in the past I've I've had works that were full production and, and lots of instruments in them and and then you show up to the show and it's just me and my acoustic guitar and and then there's somebody in the audience always that's like oh well, I thought I thought there was going to be a band here tonight you know uh, and so I, I felt like I didn't really uh, live up to my recordings in the past and and I wanted to sort of bypass all of that this time and just do something that I knew represented me and it was something that I can come and I can sit down in front of all of you and and I can play this and it's going to sound as close to uh, those recordings as as possible, um, so that it's it is sort of the deepest part of me, and it is you know sort of my my heart and soul, and every song has has a different story and a different um, meaning, and it represents uh, a, a, a landmark uh, in my life. So, this episode of Tulsa Little Jam is brought to you by. What, out of curiosity, what informs the, the first two songs being strictly piano and then adding, it's almost almost entirely piano until the very end, really, of the, right. of, of, right. of, of the last song. So yeah, how, just, how did you, what inspired that? Um, well, you know, I, I think I just, I felt the need to make it impactful. Um, I also anticipated that song to, to be the first single off of the record, which it was. And uh, I, I played all the parts myself in, in, in my uh, project studio. And uh, the original lineup of songs for this record had a lot more songs in it that, that had drums and, and stuff. And, and even though I took all those away, I wanted to... Uh, and spoiler, it's the last song on the record. So uh, I, I wanted it to be sort of a finale, and and I just felt like people may understand it or be more impacted by it with a little bit of help from the rhythm section and you know and the guitar and stuff. And uh, and I, I still feel that way, and and I I love hearing it that way. In fact, my my CD release show was just this last Thursday and uh, was the first time that I had gotten the opportunity to play that song with a band behind me. I've played it a thousand times, just sitting at the piano for various shows, um, but I'd never got to actually hear the band behind me and, and, and right, sort right. of, you know, uh, perform it to it, it, all of its glory, so to speak. Uh, so it's exciting. This is our second time, and uh, uh, the guys did a great job. And it's just it's nice to hear it the way it's supposed to be heard. So. Nice. Any other questions? Well, thank you once again, guys, for uh, joining us for another episode of Tulsa Little Jam. Uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next one. But in the meantime, let's uh, get another round of applause for Jeremiah Kirby. I've been 
cannot run. 